Oh. Let me ask you another question. Has any organization proven to be as effective as Watchtower at influencing the death of Jehovah's Witnesses? Nazis in Germany, Soviets in Russia, anyone? You know that Watchtower policies when it comes to blood, shunning, and abuse reporting are literally killing people. Or getting people to kill themselves. Excuse me. Getting people to either kill themselves or martyr themselves. You know who the first person was to get someone to kill themselves with something they said? Satan, you guys. The Watchtower doesn't just come out and kill you, they get you to kill yourselves. Okay, bud. Get is somebody else is somebody I else doing that? Really? Well there's just so like much more. Well I'm not standing for anything. See that's the thing. You're the one standing here making literally making the most flattering claim about yourself. I'm not defending anything. I'm asking you to take an examine yourself. See, you're making literally the most flattering claim a person can possibly make about themselves while making literally the most insulting claim about everyone else in the world. And that is why you're so friendly and so humble and so zealous. Bible education and it's you're totally, you're, you're totally promoting current okay, Bible education. You're upsetting my wife. Time to move on. Really? Yeah. Okay. And what happens if I keep upsetting you? If you keep upsetting people, yeah. you actually have the police call on you. Oh, why? Because you're upsetting people. I am not threatening you with death, okay? You don't get to call Caesar. You don't get to call Caesar. You're being aggressive. Paul and was... just standing here quietly, like, minding our own. Well, you have to be prepared to give a defense for the reason of the hope you have. Let's just pack up. Yeah, pack up. Pack up. You want to stand here insulting everyone else in the world who isn't one of Jehovah's Witnesses? You know you are with your beliefs. You need to figure out a way to go through life thinking people are other than fellow believers, potential fellow believers, or bird food at Armageddon. You have no idea. You have no idea how happy I am. You people make people upset. What's that? I said it's nice to see you happy. You want to control the conversation now? No, I said when you came up, I said it's nice to see you happy. Uh huh. So we're being pleasant with you. I have uh -huh. no ill will we're for happy you. That you're well, happy. you're representing an organization that is literally killing Please people. Then? You're representing Don't an organization us. that is protecting pedophiles. You are representing an organization that can't get their version of what the Bible really teaches straight. We have the right to choose how we want to live our own lives. And you do too. Do you believe yeah, that? but that's the thing. What so is what is everyone else in the world who isn't Jehovah's Witnesses preventing you from doing? Why do we all have to be killed? Don't disrespect us. No, no, no. You're no, you're you're disrespecting. You're totally disrespecting everyone else just by standing here. Just by standing here, you are disrespecting everyone else in the world. Why are people who aren't Jehovah's Witnesses even alive? Why are we even alive? So you can, so you can, so you can, so you can, so you can teach us how to be like you. No. So you can endure us and pack up and leave. No. Or so your God can kill us at Armageddon and you can step over our bodies and build your paradise on top of us. I totally do know that about it, as well as you. And I know, I know, I know how good. That's the, that's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. That nice arrogance coming out. It took you all of about five minutes to turn from a loving, mildly respectful person to a total condescending guy. I'm sorry you wasted years of your life. Oh, you wasted years of your life. Well, actually, I didn't waste years of my life because now every single person leaving this organization has the truth. You are standing here hiding from it. And I haven't even started. I haven't even started getting into all the details. You know the con that congregation is being sold because no one's getting baptized. I do hope you're happy though. You have the free will to do to not do this. And I totally fine. have the free will to Absolutely. talk to you as well. No. no and tell you that. Way with what? Anger and arrogant way with well, that is what you're asking for. No. You were told to expect that. No. You think this is something? Okay. You think this is something? Nice day, you, what about what the first century Christians had to put up with? This is nothing, bro. And your cell phone's not going to help you either. But they don't want to know how I got from point A to point B because all they want to know is that their version of how a person becomes who we become is the version. 
see watchtower tells them how a person comes to the point of doing something like that and there is no other reason they let the demons get control of them they believed apostate lies they didn't keep up with their spiritual routine they didn't underline their watchtower they didn't get in their 70 a month they didn't shave they didn't put on a suit they didn't make it to all their meetings they didn't make it to all their service groups and blah 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 right well all of you out there know that a person goes from point A to point B and doing what I just did for a million different reasons that are not in any Watchtower publication. So, uh, they were a pioneer couple, by the way. Uh, that guy is an elder. They've been pioneers for seven, eight, nine, ten years now. I don't know. But I got them to pack up and leave. Isn't that the ultimate point? I got them to move on. I think eventually I'm going to get a uh, another one of these and then have them not pack up and leave, but... Uh, and I'll leave it lingering so that we can hear what they say after. Um, that's the real footage right there. After we leave the car, so after doing something like that, and whether we do it well or we just do a really bad job, we lose our cool or we totally keep our cool and get them to lose theirs, whatever. Even if it's a, if it's a home run, it doesn't matter. <sighs> I think the real footage would be their conversation, their reaction, their activity, how they go about doing what they do after something like that happens to them. All right? After something like that happens to them. I don't know if you're hearing all this, but I'm going to post it anyway. Have a great day.